Our community is a rich community, spiritually and culturally. People work together in times of need. Our culture is tied directly to the land. When you start losing land, you start losing the culture and everything that goes along with the land. We all share the same values. We share the same passion for this water. All we want is to protect the water and keep it with the land. More and more people in the world, they have the right to build whatever, wherever they want. But we have the right to prevent them from building where we live. In a hundred years, this land will be here and I know that it's gonna be the same. And it's gonna remain in the family, and just knowing that, that's great. My name is Robert Quintana. We are in Old San Acasio, which is five miles west of San Luis. When people ask me what I do, I'm a farmer at heart. This is what I do. She gets upset with me, she's like, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? And I tell her, outside. Like, this is where I wanna be. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. I haven't set an alarm for decades. You know, in the morning I get up, I want to do something, I'm excited, get dressed, disappear, come check cows, change water, feed cows, whatever. There's days that kick our butt. We're busy 24-7, we can't really take time to do a whole lot. But at the same time, it's what I've always liked to do. For me personally, like look around where we're at right now, nothing but farmland. You know, there's cows and horses, there's not buildings. For me, the thing that breaks my heart more than anything is you have a field like this, you come back 20 years later and it's houses, you know, or a building or a parking lot, you know, it's productive land, now it's a house. You know, I only have a small little segment of land, but if I could keep it like that forever, that's what I want to do. So I just spread my little tarp out, nice and level. Well, this is the lifeblood, and this is the blood that connects the whole community together because we all understand how important water is. Water creates this beautiful environment in a high altitude desert. And La Secchia means that you share the water with your neighbors and you work together to keep them clean. It's a communal thing. The San Francisco ditch is our acequia. That makes us unique in that we do have water rights that are very old and we protect them and we're very proud of that. It's actually a, a culture and the acequia is a way of life. If we think of this water that's going through here, we need to think of it as a community, something that is so valuable for the community, for our farming, for our animals. Everyone benefits from this acequia. We do everything in our life to protect it. We do almost anything to keep the water with the land. Open Lands has contributed their resources, such as their expertise, their counseling, their friendship, their help when we've needed it the most. If we can attach the land to this water, it'll transform the community because that worry about the water being separated, can you imagine? That's like a load lifted off. That water will not ever leave the land. My name is Steven Romero, farmer rancher. We're just uh, about one mile outside of the town of San Luis, the oldest town in Colorado. On my land, as well as my family's land, that has the oldest water rights in the state of Colorado, of one of the most sustainable and uh, environmentally uh, friendly agricultural systems that you could ever come across. This land was part of a Spanish land grant that my ancestors were part of. My third great-grandfather established these farms as well as some of the retail businesses in town. So it's been in the family for uh, six generations. We just recently won a 40-year court battle to get access to La Sierra back, which is the part of the watershed that supplies us with our irrigation water. There's a huge history here. That decision actually went back to uh, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which basically guaranteed that once the United States took over this territory, the residents here at the time would be guaranteed uh, communal use rights to the mountain, which were established you know, under Spanish law. The acequias here have been used in a very similar fashion and basically unchanged for over 160 years. It's one of the most sustainable systems I've ever seen seen as far as agriculture goes. It's an incredibly unique uh, agricultural system that uh, I feel is worth preserving just, just for its uniqueness, just in that alone. My family that came and settled here in the early 1850s when Rio La Culebra was first established. I am a descendant of the Jose Brigido Jaques family uh, whom uh, acquired land, uh, bought us strips 
where I reside now, belonging to my, my great-grandfather and my great-grandmother. Well, we are so fortunate. Our forefathers that came here, they came and they settled in Rio de la Culebra, and they found this pristine, beautiful area. And they remained here for the resources that was so abundant. It was the, the watershed from all the little streams that were coming into this beautiful, pristine valley here. You have land and you don't have water. It's, it's, it's not anything it's, it's of any value to you. You need to have, if you want to have land, you have to have water to it. You know, it's, I call it money in the bank. Well, this area, we've been here for over 100 years. My family, 150 years. You know, this is home and you can't find this anywhere else. And just to be here, it feels like you're part of the land. So in 2013, uh, we went into an agreement with Colorado Open Lands to preserve this property. And it's, it's been great. Just knowing that, you know, someday when I leave this earth, I know that this land will remain the same. And working at Colorado Open Lands was, it was great. And I'm really uh, grateful to them and thankful I guess I always had a, a spiritual relationship with the land and the water. You know, it goes uh, above and beyond money. Colorado Open Lands and Great Outdoors Colorado and other organizations that, you know, have come to try to help, I think are in line with my vision of, of preserving and protecting the land. I can't tell you enough good things about Open Lands. Personally, I've seen our growth. Now we can say with pride, our ditch has the bylaws. And it's all because Open Lands took a chance. I mean, they took uh, a vision. They, they kind of looked at where we were and, and they actually have transformed individuals like me. I, I think for the better and our community too. In a hundred years, well, obviously I won't be around, but this land will be here. And I know that it's gonna be the same. You know, working with Colorado Open Lands is, has been good. The whole transition, how things worked, the timeline, it's been great. And I, hopefully I see more property around here gets uh, conserved. We're fortunate to be able to have, to have what we have and we need to protect it. Thank you, thank you Colorado Open Lands for being there for us.